Welcome back to Hard Knocks Games and Hobbies YouTube channel. This is continuing our uh, product reviews. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new book that just came out from Wizards of the Coast for the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition game. This is the Candlekeep Mysteries. Uh, this is obviously the alternate cover. This is the standard cover. Um, content's the same, it's just the, this one's a little bit prettier. Uh, we didn't get to do a review on the previous book, the Tasha's Cauldron. Uh, well, because we got shorted and we didn't have enough of them to do it at the time, especially for the alternate cover, which is just as well because it was, the, most of them were uh, falling apart when we got them. Uh, they seem to have resolved their printing issues that they had with Tasha's uh, with this one because the bindings on these seem to be pretty strong. So from a, uh, from a visual standpoint, the book looks good. I've uh, flipped through it a few times. Haven't noticed any of the outer register printing that we've had with some of the previous uh, 5e supplements. So that's that's a plus on this one. That's a that's a really good thing. It has the uh, can, uh, candle keep mat in the back that you can tear out at your leisure. Um, this is a really cool book. I like this one because, as the cover says, it's 17 mystery themed adventures for Dungeons and Dragons. This is cool because a lot of their stuff that they've been putting out has just basically been reprints or regurgitations of old modules. Um, and a lot of them they did not do justice to, in my humble opinion. Uh, especially like Tales from the Yawning Portal. It was uh, very lackluster in its presentation of a lot of the old modules. Um, this is really cool, though, because it's actually new material. And that's, uh, that's good. The only complaint I have is getting the map out when I did my... Because I leave my map in my fancy copy because I'm a collector and I'm bougie like that. But I uh, took the map out of my working copy. The perforations on it are not great. And I know why they did it, so that the map doesn't fall out of the book. But I've, I'm not an amateur when it comes to taking a map out of a book. I've done this probably... A thousand times in my life of, of getting maps out of things but it uh it rips real easy because so their, their perforations seem to be a little bit lacking in getting this out so when you guys if you take your map out because i always like to have my my a working copy of the map you might want to score that with an exacto knife to prevent happening to you what happened to me but even with that I could have been doing something wrong, um, but that's my only complaint. Even that, I still give this book uh, five stars just because it's new material. It's new adventures. This is what we want. This is what a lot of people want. We don't want regurgitated, uh, reskinned old adventures. Give us something new. And they listened, and you've got 17 new uh, adventures here. So far, so good. Please keep up the good work on this product. Keep up the printing quality too. Anybody who plays Magic knows Watsy's got terrible printing quality right now with their Pringle shaped cards. Um, I was worried they were going that route with the D&D books with as bad as Tasha's Cauldron was, but this one seems to be in very good shape. So we'll see what happens with the Van Richten's guide when that comes out in another month or two. And we'll see if they keep up the quality. Uh, other than that, five out of five on this one, it's worth your time.